there, of Bras Award Primary. It's Sister Sigo with another sing-along video. For today's video, you will need two items from your home. The first item you will need is something like a tall kitchen stool or a small table like Sister Sigo has. So something about this size, not too big, but not short, something that's kind of tallish. The second item you will need is a picture of Jesus. Now I have one that's in a frame like this. If you don't have a small picture of Jesus in your home like this, then you could find one on the internet and print it up. Or you could look in a church magazine. I found one in the friend right here, a picture of Jesus. So this would work as well. So stop your video and I will wait while you find your two items. All right, are you back with your two items? That's wonderful. Go ahead and set them aside. We will use them a little bit later. The song for today's sing-along video is the fourth article of faith. Now, if you will remember from our other sing-along videos about the Articles of Faith, Joseph Smith wrote the Articles of Faith to help people who were not members of our church know what members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints believe in. And today's Article of Faith is, like I said, number four. And because it's number four, I thought it would be fun to sing this song four times. Let's sing it through the first time using my picture board. Here's how it goes. We believe that the first principles and ordinances of the gospel are first faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, second repentance, third baptism by immersion, article of faith. Did you notice that the fourth article of faith talks about four separate things? There's going to be a lot of four today in today's sing-along video. Now, I thought it might be fun for the four separate parts of the article of faith to do some sego signs. Let's start with the first part. It says, first, our first principle is faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. So our seagull sign for that will be to take our hands straight up like this, like we're pointing up toward Jesus, and that will represent our faith in Jesus. The second principle is repentance. I don't know if you can tell in your screen or not, but this girl is remembering that she was not very nice. To this girl and she's trying to make that better. So our sign for repentance is to turn toward Jesus. That's what it means to repent, to change and turn back to doing what you ought to do and you know is right. So the sign for that, we'll have one finger like this. This will represent Jesus and this finger will represent us. And right now, this finger is kind of far away from Jesus and not facing him. So to repent, we're gonna bring that finger around and then we'll be facing Jesus. So repentance is that sign, for Sego sign. Now the third part of the fourth article of faith talks about baptism by immersion. That means all the way under the water. So the Sego sign will make our hand like it's a person going all the way under the water and then back up, baptism. Now the fourth part of the fourth article of faith talks about receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost. As you can see in this picture, we get that by a special priesthood blessing. And we have hands on our head. So we will do hands out like this to represent the gift of the Holy Ghost, the laying on of hands that it says, okay? So let's sing it again with 
these four seagull signs for the fourth article of faith. we are going to use our picture of Jesus today. So it's time for our stool from our kitchen or our small table and our picture of Jesus. We are going to still do the seagull sign, but this time we're going to have the four sides of my table represent each of the four parts of the article of faith that are centered on Jesus. So this part will be faith. And you can keep your body turned toward Jesus if you want. I might make my body this way so you can see me better. But you're facing Jesus, right? For repentance, coming around and turning back to Jesus. For baptism, you can be facing Jesus this way, but I'm going to go this way so you can see. Third, baptism by immersion. And then fourth, we'll come around this way, the laying on of hands. All of these things center around the Savior. Okay, let's do it with our stool and our picture of Jesus. Do you have it all set up and ready? You do? Okay, let's go ahead. Start in the back here. Ready? We believe that the first principles and ordinance Here we go. Until next time.